The film starts out with a 13-year-old Bryony Tallis writing a play that she wants to put on that evening for the return of her older brother Leon. She runs through the house and into the garden, where she comes upon Robbie Turner, the housekeeper's son, tending to the flowers. They talk and it's evident that she has a crush on him, but he treats her like a little sister. Bryony's mother is then seen reading the play and enjoying it. Bryony is sleeping in the backyard with her elder sister Cecilia in the following scene. Bryony asks questions as to why Cecilia no longer talks with Robbie. Cecilia Cecilia responds that she does, but in different circles. Bryony is then shown practicing the play with her cousins Piero and Jackson Quincy, as well as their elder sister Lola. Lola is roughly 16 years old. The younger boys rapidly bored of the game and leave to go swimming, leaving Bryony alone in the house. She looks out the window and notices Cecilia and Robbie arguing outside near the fountain. Then we watch Cecilia strip down to her slip and leap into the water to get something. And when she returns, her slip is wet and revealing, and Robbie looks away as she dresses and walks away. We suddenly see the same scene from the perspective of Cecilia and Robbie. As they come into the garden, Cecilia is holding an expensive vase, and as she tries to fill it with water from the fountain, Robbie tries to take it from her, and she refuses, and they pull on it, smashing the porcelain. Cecilia goes to retrieve it when it falls into the fountain. Cecilia is next shown in her room, smoking and getting ready for the evening. Through her window, she sees her brother Leon drive up with a friend, some rich tycoon who owns a chocolate factory. She is surprised to find Leon talking with Robbie. They meet Leon's friend, who appears to be a shady character. Character. Leon, Cecilia, and their friend Paul Marshall are swimming in the lake when it is revealed that Robbie and Cecilia attended to the same school and that Robbie is pursuing a medical degree. Cecilia is upset when Leon informs her that he has invited Robbie to dinner. The scene then switches to Robbie at his cottage, composing a letter to Cecilia in an attempt to repent for his actions earlier that day. He writes numerous versions before ultimately sending her a fairly nasty sexual letter. We witness the action go back and forth between him and Cecilia, getting ready and placing clips in her hair while he is typing. He laughs as he writes it, folds it, and lays it next to the typewriter. He then handwrites a very heartfelt apology and goes to get ready for dinner that evening. He sees Bryony playing in the garden as he travels down the lane to the main house and asks her to deliver the letter to Cecilia, which she does. We watch Robbie suddenly realize that he put the wrong letter in the envelope and that the filthy letter is being delivered as she runs to the home. He screams for Bryony, but she has already entered the home and is reading the letter. She then gives it to Cecilia without the envelope, letting her know that she has read it. Paul Marshall is then seen going through the home and meeting the cousins, Piero, Jackson, and Lola. He entertains the youngsters, but it is evident that he is also interested in Lola. Later, Bryony walks to her room to dress for dinner, and Lola enters, whining about her small brothers torturing her. Bryony takes advantage of the situation to inform Lola what was stated in the filthy letter, referring to Robbie as a sexual maniac. She then prepares for dinner and runs down the stairs when she notices a little hair clip on the floor. She takes it up and notices a light shining through a doorway. She follows it to find Robbie and Cecilia in an uncomfortable position against the library's wall, clearly having made love just seconds before. Bryony's tearful eyes are visible just before the scene shifts to Robbie ringing the doorbell for dinner. Cecilia answers the door, and he apologizes for providing the incorrect version of the letter. Cecilia brings him to the library, where they confess their feelings for one another and begin kissing and having sex against the wall. They tell each other they love each other in the middle of it and continue until Cecilia hears the door open and Bryony walk in. They untangle themselves and exit the room, leaving Bryony alone. They all pretend nothing has occurred at dinner until Mrs. Tallis sees that the young twin boys aren't there and sends Bryony to get them. She returns and notifies the group that the guys have gone, so a search party is immediately formed. Bryony goes out alone with a flashlight and comes sees a man with his pants down on top of Lola. He flees as soon as the light shines on them, but you can't see his face. Bryony approached Lola, who is weeping, and asks who the man is. Lola is unsure because her eyes were covered, but Bryony convinces her that it was Robbie. Lola is carried inside the home, and the police are summoned. Bryony testifies that Robbie attacked Lola, and she believes she saw him. Cecilia advises the cops not to trust Bryony since she is a fanciful child, but as soon as Robbie returns to the house, after finding the two young boys, the cops take him away. Four years later, we find Robbie in France with two other privates in the army, as it is now World War II. They ask him what an educated guy like him is doing as a private, to which Robbie says that you can't get promoted if you've been released from prison, and he was offered the option of staying in prison or joining the army. Then we see a scene from six months ago in which Robbie and Cecilia reconnect after three and a half years apart and after some awkward talk, confess their love for one another after all this time. Cecilia is now a nurse in London, lives in an apartment, and no longer speaks with her sister Bryony or her family. Robbie goes to the war, but they continue to write. Cecilia informs him of a beach house they may visit the next time he is on leave and gives him a 
photograph of it to save. We see him throughout the film, going through battle and looking at the same picture every chance he gets. Cecilia also tells him that Bryony is now in nurse's training and has written to her, asking to talk. Bryony, an 18-year-old nurse, is then shown struggling to fit in at the hospital. She writes to Cecilia, asking to speak with her and explaining that she is only now realizing the full extent of her false testimony from years ago. We see Robbie injured in France while waiting for the men to be collected and sent to the hospital. And then we show Bryony and the other nurses tending to injured soldiers. She thinks she sees Robbie, but he isn't there. Bryony then leaves the hospital a few days later to attend the wedding of Paul Marshall, who is marrying her cousin Lola. Lola notices Bryony but ignores her at the wedding. Bryony then goes to Cecilia's apartment and asks to speak with her and apologizes to her. She sees Robbie, who intends to break her neck, but instead, Robbie and Cecilia make Bryony correct her mistakes and modify her statement. Bryony admits to seeing Paul Marshall abuse Lola that night in the garden, which upsets them because Paul had recently married Lola and therefore has immunity. Bryony agrees to modify her statement and leaves, and we show Cecilia and Robbie finally kissing in the apartment. Then Bryony is on a train, and suddenly the screen goes black, and a woman says, Can we stop for a moment? We cut to the current day and witness an elderly Bryony Tallis being interviewed about her most recent novel, Atonement. She reveals that this is her final book since she is dying, and she wanted to be absolutely honest about everything that happened. She confesses, however, that she lied about one aspect, that she never went to her sister to ask for forgiveness that day, and that Robbie was never there since he died of septicemia in France while waiting to be transported to the hospital a few months before. She also claims that she never had the opportunity to make amends with her sister since she was killed in a bomb attack a few months after Robbie died. Bryony says that she has had to live with this truth her entire life, so she altered it in her book to allow Cecilia and Robbie to be together in her book, if not in real life. The film concludes with Cecilia and Robbie playing on the beach and then heading into the cottage that Cecilia had mentioned before. 